Good morning. It's Monday morning motivation, you guys. It is Monday morning motivation or afternoon. It's just Monday motivation. How about that, right? So listen, you guys, it's Monday. What does that mean? That means you get to be ready, set, go, right? On Mondays, you get to be ready, set, go. So I want you guys to think of, we just finished the Olympics, right? And you know, the track, everybody likes watching the track. And do they start off in the middle of the race like, hey, hey, or do they get in the starting position? You see them get in the starting position and they are ready, set, go, right? You know what ready, set means? That means getting yourself mentally prepared to go after your goal, right? Ready, set, go, that's Monday. Getting yourself in the ready position mentally, physically, and emotionally, right? How do you do your ready, set, go for Monday? Because listen, Sundays are typically relaxation, you're chilling, and the reason why people don't like Mondays is because it's not Sunday, right? They're not relaxing. They have to start their week. But the issue is, you guys, if you don't get in the ready, set, go position on Monday, you feel like this the whole week, right? So I have some recommendations for you guys to get in the ready, set, go position. Number one, where are you going? What is your goal for the week, right? If you let every week roll into the next, of course you're gonna dread Mondays because it's just like the week before that or the week before that. But if you look at Monday as the day when you're gonna start out your goals to accomplish something more than you did the week before, hey, that's power, you guys. So when you use your Monday, right, to move you further than you were the week before, then that's something to be excited about, right? You're excited about it. So when you get in your ready, set, go position, what are some steps that you get to take? Number one, you need to get out of your head, right? Get it out of your head. Because a lot of times we have so much stuff in our head that nothing gets done. Have you ever guys felt that way? You guys, I get that way sometimes. And I have so much stuff in my head that I wanna do, and I'm just trying to keep it all in. I'm trying to keep it all in. You get to write it down, you guys. Once you write it down, then you can breathe a little bit. You write it down from your head to the paper, and now you can breathe because you know what? You wrote it down and you make it tangible. So I have my, CCCFFF journal, right? That means constant, consistent commitment to living a fit, fierce, and fabulous life. And so I'm going to write it down. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to write down what my goals are for each week. And I want you guys to all do that. I want you to take it from your head. So what is your goals? And you should hit it like this. What are your goals Physically, what are your physical goals? What do you want to accomplish by the end of the week from Monday to Friday, right? So that way when Wednesday comes, you won't be, you won't be lost, right? You'll be energized, you'll be empowered because you know you have two more days to really get that goal, right? So it's Monday by Friday. What is your goal? Here's some examples. I'm gonna work out with Tiffany Roth Monday through Friday. So every day, you get to check it off. You get to check off what you're doing. You can say, I'm gonna do my walk run every day. I'm gonna do an extra 10,000 steps this week. What is your goal from Monday through Friday, right? Your goal physically physically and then every day when you wake up you'll know what you get to do that day right now here's another one professionally professionally when people wake up on monday mornings a lot of times if you're just at a standstill in your work you're bored you're freaking bored you don't want to do the same thing because you are not thinking about how can i level up 
How can I make this week better than the next? So professionally for me, I'm always like, okay, how can I level up the Tiffany Roth Fit Club? What can I do to get people more motivated, right? So my goal this week, okay, professionally is to complete my new plan, the 10, 20, 30 course. You guys have heard me talking about it. That way I can make sure that People who need 10 minute workouts have 10 minute workouts. Who need 20 minute workouts have 20 minute workouts. 30 minute workouts have 30 minute workouts. So that we have something for everybody on the TRFC. 10, 20, 30. And I want you to learn how to commit, right? Oh, somebody sent me some stars. Who sent me some stars? Thank you. Okay, so I want you guys to uh, learn how to commit to something and stick to it, whether it's 10 minutes, 20 minutes, or 30 minutes. So that's my goal. So if it's Thursday, and I know I haven't completed my goal. Guess what? I get to amp it up from Thursday to Friday because not completing the goal is not an option, right? So this is what you have to say. When you thank you, Wendy, for writing everything down, she's amazing. Thank you, Cheryl, for the stars. Okay, so Monday, you're gonna write down what are your goals physically. What are you gonna do for all this, baby? What are you gonna do for all this? Because without your body, right? Without your body, how are you gonna do everything else? So you gotta put your body on the list, right? And so you put your body on if it's gonna be working out. I have my goals every day of what I'm gonna do, what workouts I'm gonna do, what muscles I'm gonna work. Second thing, professionally, how am I gonna grow and expand my fitness empire? That's on my goal, but it's step by step. So what is your step by step professionally? Maybe it's to show up 10 minutes early to work, right? So that you can take your time and get centered before people start asking you a whole bunch of stuff to do, okay? Maybe professionally it is to finish everything up so that you can make a clean line between your work life and your family life, right? And then you guys get to set a fun goal, a fun goal, right? So what is your fun goal? What are you gonna do for fun? And let me tell you something, put it in the middle of the week. Put your midweek, I think a good fun goal is Wednesday, right? Wednesday, maybe you can put a fun goal on Wednesday, whether it's like, you know, hanging out with your loved one, going for a nice walk, whether it's going somewhere with your kids, whether it's getting a manicure or a pedicure, a massage, maybe it's giving a massage for somebody else, but make a fun goal for the middle of the week because guess what? This is your life, you guys. It's not like week to week, same, same, same. Create something fun. Maybe it's having lunch with a friend. Maybe it's doing Zoom call with a family member that lives far away. Do something for yourself, like on a Wednesday, that's fun. So that way, as you're, you're moving yourself ahead, you also schedule in some fun, you guys. Schedule in some fun. And then your life is so much more exciting. So we have number one, I want you to make a goal physically, right? Number two, professionally. Number three, personally, like a fun goal with someone that you love. Number four, spiritually, spiritually. So what I like to do, well actually I set up a whole room for meditation, right? But spiritually is your connection with your higher source. How are you connecting with something greater than yourself? And whether it's an inner purpose, whether it's contribution, helping someone, whether it's your uh, religious affiliation, whether it's your meditation, whatever it is, make sure that you're on a spiritual path to elevate your soul because this life is a journey for your soul, right? And so when you commune with your higher power, that's like your soul going home because your soul is like visiting in your body. Your soul is visiting in your body and you wanna give it an extraordinary experience, right? But you also wanna give your soul that coming home experience by being in community with nature, with God, with your higher power, whatever that is. So there should be four goals. There should be one, two, three, four goals on your path for Monday when you ready, set, go. You guys hear me? Ready, set, go. So here are your goals. Number one, what are they physically? Number two, what is it professionally? Number three, personally, your fun, fun goal. And number four, spiritually. You guys write that down. So listen, I would love for you to type in the chat and share with me at least one of your goals this week because when you write it down, when you take all that responsibility out of your head and you put it on something tangible. Now, I, I created these journals, right? Because it's good to be able to reflect. 
It's good to be able to see where you are and reflect on your goals to see how far you've come. Don't write it on a random scrap of paper. And if you put it in your computer, it's not the same thing. Because when you type into the computer, it's not moving the, the goals through your body like you do when you write. So don't forget to write things down. It takes it tangibly from your head to the hand to the paper, and now it lives its own life, which you are still connected with. So you guys do that, and then let me know how it goes. This is my motivation for you Monday. You get a Manny Patty, that's right. So listen, you guys, I'm having a Tiffany Talks Tuesday at 12.30, right? Tuesday at 12.30, and we're gonna talk about the truth about aging and weight gain. Oh my God, I, you guys, Tune in for this tomorrow on YouTube, the truth about aging and weight gain. Make sure you're there. If you guys have questions, get them ready because at the end of the show, I do a Q&A. It's a live show because I am the stream queen, baby, live stream queen, you know, just bringing it to you fire and real with all the things that go right and all the things that go wrong. We're here moving through this journey together in a fit, fierce, and fabulous way. All right, okay, shout outs. I see Edgar, who else is in the house? Let me see, shout out time. I know I got Cheryl, I got Wendy, I got Karina. Who else is there with me today? I want you guys to have an amazing Monday. I want you guys, if you're ready for your Monday, type in the chat, ready, set, go. All right, Cheryl, type in the chat, ready, set, go. Get ready, that's right. And type in the chat, ready, set, go. All right, from London, I love it. Judith, type in the chat, ready, set, go. Edgar, ready, set, go. What are your goals for Monday? Make Monday your fire day. Make it the day to take charge of your life. Make your day that you create your life. Tammy, ready, set, go. Let's, let me hear it, you guys. Okay, you gotta get involved in your own life. I'm here with you to motivate you, but you get to be inspired. That means you get to breathe life into yourself. Sasha is there. Who is else? I missed the name. Ready, set, go. You guys, let me see it. Gail, type it in, baby. Ready, set, go. All right, I see it, I see it, I feel you. You guys, Sylvia, ready, set, go. Come on, you guys. All right, Wendy is ready, set, go. What are you gonna create for yourself? Elena, are you there? Are you ready? Are you set? That's right, Edgar LaPata, ready, set, go, all the way in London, yes. All right, where are you guys from? Where are you guys from? Are you ready, set, go from where, right? This is how we raise the world vibration, by being ready, set, go every Monday. Mazal in the house. Ready, set, go. Type it in, you guys. Give it to me. Give me that love. Ready, set, go. And then you go. When you're ready, you blast off. You go write it down. If you do not have your CCC FFF journal, hey, go get any kind of book that you have. Go get any kind of book. I like to have a book that reminds me of who I am and what I'm up to, right? Karina, ready, set, go. All right. Chesapeake, Virginia. That's right. Ready, set, go. You guys feel it? You guys feel that energy? Hey, Anah. Hey, Anam, welcome. Welcome, Anam Arsalan. Ready, set, go. Who else is ready for Monday? Who else is ready? Jessica, are you ready, baby? Ready, set, go. Life is what you make it. Dwight, thank you. Thank you, my love. Thank you. Are you ready, set, go? Boom. Ready, set, go. Make it happen, you guys. I love you. This is your Monday, Monday morning motivation. If you think that this message will inspire or lift somebody up to get ready, set, go, share it with them today. Hey, Maurice, how are you? Bye, Wendy. Thank you, guys. I love you. Bye.